How you like that silver?
Let's try Kira's land. They're on to us. They're not letting Graham in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we he's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Uh, burning. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me.
Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! nicely. Place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. Think they're feeding on... Your Geralt stop. You needn't be so detailed. Rich folk. That will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! I'm not here of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, the peasants, they're through the door in the tower. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you?
you. Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Moore dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here. Who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me, and... and Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? 
No, no. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You ought to be my savior, not my tormentor. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved? He dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected. Strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, Forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. 
They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge.
kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? Wonder what led them here. Hunger or greed.
want to talk. You're deaf, damn it. I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. To her, Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her. Make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> There's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes. Go to the tower. Talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise.
Annabelle. God! Yes. I thought she died. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her, and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. I told you. It's dangerous. Of course. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Long enough for revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. Don't be afraid, you'll be fine. We've waited long enough for revenge. And now it comes to us. Don't be afraid, you'll be fine. Last I came to here, I still hoped Annabelle and me. If it weren't impossible, we could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. The screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead.
You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that... Don't you know It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd have never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You, you know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. Lost. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited.
god demanded six sucklings. You run, didn't Roach. A single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. What are you doing here? What? The sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the old god, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, it is ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. Suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm-hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God! Help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. 